What's up everybody, how's it going? In this video, I'm gonna tell you why you shouldn't be a software engineer. That's right, I'm gonna tell you two reasons for which you should not be a software engineer. Now, if you've seen a lot of my videos, you know that I'm the biggest proponent of learning how to code. I always say that learning how to code was the best decision of my life, that coding is the best skill that you can have in the 21st century. I am a huge advocate of working as a software engineer at Google, at Facebook, at any other other tech company. However, recently it has dawned on me that there might be some valid reasons for which someone actually shouldn't be a software engineer. And specifically, I've come up with two reasons, only two, you know that I could give you like 10 reasons for which you should be a software engineer, but I've come up with two valid reasons for which you might actually not want to be a software engineer. Now I do have to give one quick caveat before I jump into these two reasons, which is that you might relate to one or both of these reasons, and that might still not mean that software engineering isn't for you. It might instead just mean that software engineering is more of a stepping stone for you to get into another career. Recently, I made a video about the various career paths that software engineers can take. And if you can relate with one or both of the reasons that I'm gonna talk about in this video, then it might just mean that one of these other career paths that aren't really software engineering, but that are related to software engineering, are the right fit for you. But with that said, let's jump into the reasons. Reason number one for which you should not be a software engineer is if you are someone who absolutely dislikes being faced with unknowns or with new problems that you basically don't know how to solve, but that you have to figure out how to solve. You see, in some fields or other job functions, you might be able to just follow very formulaic procedures to get your job done. Or you might be faced with challenges that are limited more by your own creativity or your own imagination, not by new obstacles that are thrown at you that you have to figure out how to circumnavigate. What I'm getting at here is that if you get into software engineering, if you are a software engineer, then on a weekly basis, if not on a daily basis, you will be faced with unknowns, things that you did not expect, that you may have never done before. These will be obstacles, challenges that you have to solve, and that's a large part of a software engineer's job. For example, debugging buggy code. When you're faced with a bug, you don't know why there's a bug. It might be a bug that you've never seen before. You have to solve that. It's literally part of your job. You might get weird error messages when you're writing code that you've never seen before. You're gonna have to figure out what they mean. You might have to install new packages, import new libraries, learn new frameworks, hook external APIs into your application. You might have to do all sorts of things that you've never done before on a daily basis, and you're gonna be faced with challenges, you're gonna be banging your head against the wall, you're gonna have to use Google, you're gonna have to go on forums like Stack Overflow, you're gonna have to read documentation, half of it is gonna be outdated. This is the job of a software engineer. If what I'm describing here sounds like torture to you, if it brings you anxiety, if you think that you really would not enjoy that, then genuinely, software engineering might not be for you. On the other hand, if you're someone who gets excited by the unknown, if you're someone who likes to figure out how things work, someone who welcomes a new challenge, then software engineering might most definitely be for you. Now moving on to the second reason for which you shouldn't be a software engineer, and this one is one second. What? Chanel over here wanted me to remind you that if you're preparing for your coding interviews and your systems design interviews, yeah, and your systems design interviews, that you can check out my company, Algo Expert. Just go to algoexpert.io and you use the promo code. What's the promo code again? Clem, Clem, C L E M, for a discount on the platform. I apologize for that interruption. She just wanted me to tell you that. But okay, moving on to the second reason. The second reason for which you shouldn't be a software engineer is if you're someone who does not like or who doesn't think that they'll like spending multiple hours, long periods of time alone 
your computer. Now wait, those of you who've been watching me for a while know that I myself have said multiple times in the past that a software engineer's job is not just spending hours alone at a computer. No, if anything, that's probably just 40%, maybe 50% of your average software engineer's time spent at work. The rest is gonna be spent reviewing code, talking to other people, designing features, collaborating with other functions like UX designers or product managers. There's a lot more to a software engineer's job than just coding alone at a computer. However, however, it is important to acknowledge that still, ultimately, the main function of a software engineer is to write code. And that's done on a computer, at least most of the time. A software engineer's execution mode, so to speak, is alone at a computer for multiple hours on end. And you have to ask yourself if that's something that you really dislike. I'm gonna try to make a comparison here to the profession of a plastic surgeon. I'm no plastic surgeon, but my understanding is that a plastic surgeon doesn't spend all day long in surgery. They do a lot of other things like tend to patients, talk to new patients, maybe do a little bit of paperwork, train new surgeons or help new surgeons in their own surgeries. However, at the end of the day, when a plastic surgeon has to get into execution mode, they're gonna be doing surgery on a patient for multiple hours on end. If you're considering becoming a plastic surgeon, you better make sure that you can do that, that you think that's something that you're gonna enjoy, doing plastic surgery for multiple hours on end. I certainly know that I would not be able to do that. That is just not something for me. That's not my type of environment. On the other hand, if you put me in front of a computer, you give me a Monster or a Red Bull or coffee. Ow, I miss swallowed that coffee. And an internet connection, I can spend hours upon hours upon hours at my computer and I'll be super happy. If you're someone who doesn't like being on the computer, who gets flustered after one hour on the computer, who needs to go do something else, then software engineering might genuinely not be for you. Now I will say here, going back to the caveat that I mentioned at the beginning of the video, that if you relate particularly to this reason, the second reason, then maybe software engineering is for you as a stepping stone because again, you might actually really enjoy functions like engineering management or product management for which you need to have a software engineering background, at least at big tech companies like Google and Facebook. So those are the two valid reasons that I could come up with for which you shouldn't be a software engineer. I think that there are many more reasons for which you should be a software engineer and I've made a lot of videos on this topic. Let me know what you think about these two reasons in the comments below. Can you relate to them? Do you think that there are other reasons that I may have missed? Don't forget to smash the like button if you enjoyed the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and follow me on Twitter and LinkedIn if you like short-form written content. With that, I will see you in the next video.